All right. And it's a one wheel. Yeah. The Find X, baby. It's supposed to be the limited edition. This kind of color, the life is about to get more awesome. Big land, small adventures inside. Yes, baby. This is it. Now, I have some thoughts about this. I think it's time to energize. I'm trying to go full electric because I'm traveling so much. I'm trying to find a balance. When you write stuff like this, it serves also a bigger purpose than just to have fun. So you are minimizing your carbon footprint with it and you are having fun. If I want to go off-road, use the Evolve GTX Bamboo, which is a lot of fun, but it's still a skateboard. So I, I got a feeling I need something else. I need something else over there. And when I was in Amsterdam, I paid a visit to the guys of Fat Daddy. It's a big uh, electromobility business here in Europe. I was on a one wheel XR back in time, just in the store, and it felt very interesting. It was back in time too expensive for me, and I was still focused on a skateboard, electric skateboard, because I, I love them. But now that they've launched the Pint X, that is small enough to take it with you, it's a little bit heavy, like, you're not going to carry this for a pretty long time. It was the right time. To so why one wheel? Well, I do strongly believe that this is a unique product because it combines the software, the hardware with some unique ingenuity that you cannot replicate. That's why there is no competition for it. In the sense, the main reason I bought it it's because I saw a lot of videos and everybody was riding one of these and they are having a lot of fun and I want to join the fan club. The one wheel fan club. I want to have fun also. I want to go off-road and to shred. <laughs> I am a little bit scared to go outside for the very first time. But I mean, I've done crazier things than that. I love this car. I mean, look here, and here, and here. This is my car. Visibility is safety. Everybody will see you, will know that you're coming and you are safer. Yes. So, I guess we should go out and try it. So I got here the one-wheel bank race, limited edition. The greatest news is that the one wheel Pint X is gonna fit perfectly in an IKEA bag, so I get to carry it here quite comfortably. This is how we are shooting today Insta 360 1X2 and the Rode Wireless Go 2. I am Guide Angelo and I welcome you to the tech log. Even if I used to ride more electric skateboards, I can't transfer this experience at once on the one wheel. Let's try to find out why. In the beginning, you have to remember all the time that you don't have a remote. You're gonna get used to it quickly, but for the very first minutes, it's a little bit strange. And it's better if you practice to hold your balance on the one wheel without turning it on, without motor. Because if you manage to do this, as I've practiced in the studio, then it's going to be easier on the first try. As you're going to be able to control the speed and the brakes much easier. And that's what I've done at the very first ride. Just a few hundred meters on one direction, turning around and changing direction. Just to get a feel for the whole process. And in about 10 minutes, I was ready, I thought at least. So, I grabbed the camera and let's hit the road, baby.
Here we go, riding the one wheel pint X. It's such a nice feeling, even for the very first time. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't have enough patience to get a nice weather and optimal conditions for the very first ride with the one wheel. As you can see, the weather was cold and rainy and the street was pretty dirty with a kind of dirty slime that you can slide on it but even like this I had a lot of trust that one wheel will bring me safely anyway I got some wobbling here and the beauty of one wheel is that you can outrun it if you're not quicker than 20 or 25 km per hour and you take care like a year yes everything fine I was a little bit scared though that I could fall, I could fall badly, but this didn't stop me to try again. And the more you try, the better will be the feeling of it. And at one point you're gonna feel like you are in the control and everything is gonna be fine. So my first ride went well without big adventures. So I do really hope it has a kind of waterproofing because uh, you're gonna ride it in different terrains and the contact with the water is gonna be inevitable and that's why I'm cleaning it with a hose it's not a high pressure one it's just a normal hose but it helped me to get the uh, dirt out like pretty quick and uh, make it shiny again this is also the reason I think the one wheel is not complete without a fender and they should sell it with one it doesn't have to be the expensive carbon fiber fender that looks sick and is going to be sturdy than the plastic one, but even a standard plastic fender will keep you away from the dirt and will keep your feet safe. And that's why we're going to mount the carbon fiber fender. So, when your one wheel bind X is gonna look like this, you're gonna realize you really need a fender. Of course, the carbon fiber fender is gonna look sick and it's gonna be a little bit sturdy as the plastic one, but it costs double so much. So, the plastic one, it also looks nice and it's gonna do the job. In this case here, we're gonna mount the carbon finder fender and here it comes in this nice box from breadspot 24 hours delivery this was quick they even put a free skateboard tool in it which is gonna be of good use so the fender itself doesn't weigh too much but I got a feeling is a little bit heavier than the plastic one. There are some screws and one tool, so we are going to use them. Let's see how it looks like. Shiny, brand new. Well, it's not gonna stay like this forever. It's definitely sturdier and better for impact than the plastic one. At least this is my feeling. And it fits. It looks like it. So, first of all, we have to take off four of the old screws but before we do that let's try to get a right thumbnail for this video I'm trying to catch it with this Pixel 6 Pro which I'm making a review of so maybe subscribe if you want to see that too here we go a screwdriver let's find the right one and it's gonna be quick it fits perfectly and is stable so I guess we're done with it. I still needed to fix one screw that I lost on my electric skateboard and I've done it quickly also. So I have them both ready to go. After this photo shoot I'm gonna disappoint you because the fender is already scratching with one crack after the first ride and it's inevitable. Even if it's carbon fiber still gonna get scratch and even get some cracks but still gonna hold better than the plastic one so consider the investment